hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a full clean with me of my master bathroom um, my master bathroom is pretty big so it does take some time to clean this bathroom i have a full walk-in shower a garden tub and my bathroom has three vanities which is two on my side and one on my husband's side so the cleaning products that i use to clean is bleach comet i use lysol bathroom cleaner this one is the foaming with bleach I use odor band. I also use spray away glass cleaner, which I have, haven't shown, and Lysol disinfectant spray. So the first thing that I like to do is open up a window because um, I just don't wanna pass out. <laughs> the first thing that I like to do is go in with the areas that I use the most, and I like to go in with bleach to disinfect it. I feel like it's not clean if it doesn't have bleach in it. So I'm just bleaching down my sinks and my toilet bowl underneath and the top of my toilet bowl seat. And I'm gonna let that sit while I start cleaning up the bathroom. Now it's time for me to clean up the shower and I'm using the Lysol spray to pretty much clean up the entire shower. I like to clean the glass with the spray as well because the spray, the glass does get a lot of soap scum and the spray helps remove the soap scum and I just feel like it gets rid of germs and things like that better than um, glass cleaning can clean a glass in a shower. So I'm just going in with a really damp rag and I am pretty much just scrubbing and wiping down every part of the inside of the shower from top to bottom. I'm not focusing on the floors just yet. I'm just focusing on the walls of the shower. And with the glass as you can see I'm still using that Lysol disinfectant spray and also as opposed to glass cleaner it actually doesn't leave any streaks it gets it really clean but sometimes I just do go back with some glass cleaner after the the shower is completely dry and I'll clean it with glass cleaner but for the most part this does get rid of all the soap scum and it leaves my shower really clean so now I'm just going with an empty container and I filled it up with water and I'm going and I'm just rinsing off all of the Lysol cleaner from the inside of the shower I want to get rid of all of that so that it can be completely clean so now I'm cleaning the floors of the shower so I'm using that Lysol spray again and I am using the Comet and what basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna mix those two to kind of make a paste to kind of get rid of all the nastiness off the bottom of the shower so I'm taking a damp rag and I'm just going in and I'm basically just just wiping down the bottom of the shower and once that's done, once I'm finished scrubbing, I go in with a container filled with water again and I continue to just rinse it off. Now it's time for me to clean the outside of the shower. I'm using my spray away glass cleaner. I love this glass cleaner. The reason why I love this glass cleaner is because it doesn't leave any streaks. So it just makes the shower look flawless. And I use this on every glass that I have in my house. I like it so much better than Windex. So I'm just going in with a paper towel with that. And also the reason why I like spray away is because it doesn't contain any ammonia. And as you guys know, you cannot mix ammonia and bleach when you are cleaning unless you want to pass out. And I don't recommend that. <laughs> so now it's time to clean the bathtub. And this, this week the bathtub was fairly clean. Um, it hadn't been used, but even when it's not used, I do like to go in and clean the tub. The tub is pretty big and pretty deep, um, so it does take some work for me to clean this tub without falling in, as you can see. Um, but yeah, I managed to do it. So I'm just using that same Lysol disinfectant spray. Now, if I did um, take a bath in that tub, I would have used bleach to kind of just disinfect it, but the spray does a good enough job. And now I'm just cleaning around the tub. Tub. I'm using odor band on the tile around the tub because there's no need to disinfect this. This is kind of just 
an area that, that doesn't get used very often, so there's not too many um, germs. So I'm just going in with the odor band and I'm just cleaning along the outside and just kind of removing dust for the most part. The bathroom does collect a lot of um, shed hair, dust, and things like that. So I just don't want, I want to make sure that's not lingering around the tub. So now it's time for me to clean the toilet area and I'm using paper towels, the Lysol foaming spray, as well as Comet. The bleach has been marinating in there and I use some Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. I switch out my paper towels every section of the toilet bowl. So I'm just adding that toilet bowl cleaner. It already has the spray that has been marinated in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some Comet and scrub out the toilet bowl. And I'm wiping the seat down with a fresh paper towel and some Lysol foam and spray. It already has bleach on it as well. So if you haven't noticed yet, I'm a germaphobe and I'm OCD. So I have to clean around the toilet bowl and the floor as well. I use the same foam and spray to clean around the toilet bowl as well as the floor. I use a paper towel to clean the floor around the toilet bowl. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's just not the cleanest part of your house, so I want to make sure that it is extra clean. Once the toilet area is clean, I go in with the vacuum. The reason why I use a vacuum as opposed to a broom is because I feel like the vacuum picks up a lot of shed hair better than a broom, and it kind of just picks everything up. And I go over and I mop the area with a mop. I'm using, this is just Fabuloso and water combination. So now it's time for me to focus on the vanity areas. I'm cleaning my husband's side of the vanity and I am using that same Lysol foaming cleaner and I am wiping down the whole vanity area as well as the faucets, the faucet handles and I'm moving everything out the way. This is my side of the bathroom. I have a double vanity. I have one side that has for my to brush my teeth and things like that and then I have another side where I do my hair and makeup so the first thing I do is kind of just tidy up everything and make sure everything is in the correct spot now I'm going over the area with the Lysol foaming spray and I'm foaming I'm sorry I'm cleaning off all of the countertops because my vanity area does have a lot of stuff on it, I like to move everything to one side so that I can pick up anything that's loose, any hair or anything like that, and I can really focus on the things that's underneath. And so I'm just going in with some all-purpose cleaner. The reason why I didn't use any um, foam and spray here is because I pretty much wipe this area down every day with a disinfectant wipe. But I'm just going over some with some all-purpose spray. I like this spray because it smells like lavender. Um, so I'm just moving everything out of the way and wiping down. So here is how it looks once it is completely clean. Everything is out of the way. Every all of the countertops are wiped down. I've vacuum the floors and the next step is for me to go ahead and mop now i am going into the floors with the fabuloso and water i love fabuloso i'm from the bronx and your house is not clean unless it smells like some fabuloso so not only does it clean but it smells so good and it kind of just tops everything off as you can see my window is still open and i'll leave the window open for about an hour after i clean just to let all of the fumes out from all of the cleaning products that i used so if you have any questions leave them down below i hope you guys found this video helpful and thanks for watching